Hey guys, Karen from Curl House. I'm a licensed cosmetologist, a certified trichologist, and owner of the Curl House Hair Restoration Collection. And today I want to share with you just a little story from one of my clients who are dealing with hair loss because I want to help you if you are dealing with the same issue that she's dealing with. So she gave me a call and she said her hair was coming out horribly. Her hair was very, very broken off. I'm going to show you some pictures of what she sent me. So these are some of the pictures that she sent me. As you can see, her hairline is broke off. The back of her hair is broke off and her hair just seemingly seems to be broke off all throughout her hair shaft. So when I talked to her, she said she wore sew-ins. She said she wore sew-ins all the time, nonstop, took them out, put them back in, took them out, put them back in. Uh, but she said, even though she wears sew-ins, her hair is typically healthy. Now she said her edges have thinned out, but for the most part, her hair was long and her hair was healthy, right? So I know what you're thinking. No, no way. If she wearing sewings all the time, there is no way that her hair is healthy. Her the, her her hair loss is probably due to her sewings. Now, that may be true. However, it is important that you listen to yourself. So, this person was very adamant that even though she was in sewings, her hair was healthy, her hair was long, and her hair was much thicker. So, what I always say when I talk to my clients, what you tell me, I believe you. I feel like you know yourself better than I know you. You are with yourself 24 hours, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. You know yourself better than me. So, when she said, no, it's not the soul land, I listened to her. So, as I was doing the consultation a little bit further, I started asking her more questions. And then she started sharing these things with me. She said that she is hot. She is on fire. Now, she's also 47. So, she said, well, I think I'm going through menopause because I'm 47. I said, well, have you been to the doctor? Have you been, have you got blood work done? She said, no. I said, okay. But she said, I am always on fire. Then she said she has rapid heart rate, like heart palpitations. They just come out of nowhere. I said, okay. And then she said, well, also I lost a lot of weight. So she said, now I didn't mind losing a lot of weight, but I certainly wasn't doing anything to lose weight. So I lost a lot of weight and I've been eating whatever I want to eat. And I thought, okay, so in my mind, this red flag is already going off. And then she said, I asked her, well, how often do you have a bowel movement? And she said, you know, I have a bowel movement every day, sometimes twice a day. Now on the surface, that seems like a good thing. But to her, she said she didn't have bowel movements every day. She may have had one two or three times a week and sometimes she has to take some type of supplement to have a bowel movement. So when she gave me all of these symptoms, all of these things that was going on with her, I said, hey, I need you to do me a favor. I want you to do something for me. Can you place your hand on your neck? Do you feel a bulge? And she placed her hand on her neck and she said, yes, I feel a bulge. So when she said that, I immediately surmised that she may be dealing with hyperthyroidism. So an overactive thyroid. I encouraged her to go to the doctor, get some blood work. And she did. And she came back and said, yes, you are absolutely right. I am dealing with hyperthyroidism. So in other words, that means her thyroid is just producing too much thyroid hormone. And the main purpose of the thyroid is really to reg regulate your metabolism, among other things, but to regulate the metabolism. So she lost a lot of weight. So her hyperthyroid, hyper, everything is overactive. So her thyroid overactive in terms of her metabolism and that explained the weight, the weight loss. Thyroid also regulates your temperature. She says she's hot. She's on fire. Like I said, it may be menopause. That may be a reason, but it may not be. But with all the other symptoms, even in terms of her having a bowel movement every day now, that's uncommon to her. So remember, it may be common to most people, but again, you know yourself best. She knew that having a bowel movement every day was not normal. So I, I really wanted to jump on this YouTube video to encourage you all to listen to yourself. Listen to your body. If something seems off, then more than likely it is. And as it relates to her hair, on the surface, 
it seemed like that she was experiencing hair loss because of the sew-ins. Now, I'm sure the sew-ins did not help because when you keep your hair in back-to-back sew-ins, you're not able to properly moisturize your hair and that does lead to breakage. However, she was adamant that it is, the, it is not just the sew-in. Now, her hairline, as you can see again in this picture, her edges are gone. That more than likely is the sew-in. And as a matter of fact, she said, yeah, her edges have thinned out from wearing the sew-in. So that is some traction alopecia around the hairline. But that's not the only reason her hair had thinned out. So I just really wanted to jump up here and encourage you all to listen to yourself in terms of your hair loss. Sometimes when you're dealing with hair loss, a lot of times you have to take an internal approach. You have to figure out what is going on within the body that may be the root cause of your hair loss. And when you balance what's going on internally, so at, at some point she is gonna get treatment to regulate her thyroid, regardless of what type of treatment she chooses, when that thyroid is regulated, then that is going to help to restore her hair. So I will be doing more videos with her. I am gonna follow her, follow her journey, her hair restoration journey, and I'm definitely, I'll definitely create a YouTube video about it. But this one, I really just wanted to inform you. If you're dealing with any of those symptoms and you're dealing with hair loss, definitely go to a doctor, find out what's going on internally. Once you treat the internal issue, then the hair typically follows. So also hair products have their place. You all know that I have a whole line of products, the Curl House Hair Restoration Collection, that is really designed for people who are dealing with slow growing hair, um, and hair loss, but that's not the first thing I recommended. My recommendation was not, was not like, hey, you need to go get my product line to help to restore your hair. No, hair products will not reverse hair loss due to hormonal imbalances. You have to correct the hormone balance or the hormone imbalance first. Hair products have their place. Yes, they will support, strengthen the scalp, but you have to get to the root cause. That is the only way that you will be able to restore your hair. It's the first, get to that root cause. Then you can use products topically to help to restore the hair. So anyway, I wanted to jump in and share that with you. If you are someone who is interested in prioritizing your health, in 2023, I encourage you to sign up for my wait list for my health and hairness program. And in this program, you will learn how to maximize hair growth through wellness. So if you want more information about that program, again, sign up for that wait list. I'll also put it down in the description so that you will be the first to know when that program actually launches. Okay, hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up turn on that bell so that you do not miss a no notification. And until we talk again, stay fabulous.